Hey, what's happening guys? Got a quick video for you today. I'm gonna to be talking about the first three modifications I would do to a dirt bike besides maintenance items. So this is all kind of personal preference, but I got a feeling a lot of you would agree with it. So let's jump right into this video. So personally, the very first thing I would change out are the grips. The grips I prefer are these ODI lock-on ones. So they actually bolt onto the handlebars and there's zero chance of them slipping. So no need to use any glue or wire and the grip compound is really good. Absolutely love these things. And I've actually had these same grips on this bike for about two years now. Obviously you can see they're getting pretty beat up on this end of it. I'll need to replace them soon. But they've held up remarkably well for grips. So on this side, the thrall side, the grip is actually molded into the thrall tube. So you get the grip, the thrall tube, and then on this side, the flange is actually part of the grip and that just clamps onto the handlebar. Really, really slick idea. I'll put the link to where I bought these grips down below in the description box. So the grips are a pretty cheap modification and the next one up is a little more expensive. So the clutch lever is something I'm really picky about, especially on a two stroke. With a two stroke, you're always abusing the clutch. So it's super nice to have a clutch that works smooth and is adjustable here for the cable tension. So this lever is a works connection one. Had this one for many years now and definitely my favorite one of all. So it's got a bearing here in the pivot and that makes the clutch action super smooth. And then over here, like I mentioned, it's got a cable slack adjuster. So say if you're going over a jump, you can just whack this thing and adjust the cable slack. Super critical to have on a two stroke or four stroke for that matter. And then the last thing I really, really like about this lever is down here, or if you can see that little screw, I'll zoom in on it. Yeah, right there, there is a little Allen and that adjusts the lever reach from the handlebar. So that changes how far the lever sits from the handlebar. So it's, you can really fine tune it to your liking. And one last thing I really like about this lever and perch setup, it's got a plastic sleeve here between the handlebar. So that enables the lever to pivot out of the way upon a crash and that'll save you a lot of broken levers. So pretty important to have as well. The third modification here, if you wanna call it that, is actually free if you have a tape measure. So that is setting the suspension sag. And so setting the suspension sag really balances out the bike and kind of customizes it for your weight. And it's easier to do this with two people. So in the simplest terms, suspension sag is how much the suspension compresses underneath the weight of the rider. And that could either be the rear of the bike or the front. Oh shoot, there's a zip tie missing. Should probably fix that. But today we're gonna to be looking at the rear of the bike. And the reason for that is the rear sag makes the biggest difference in how the bike handles. I actually put together an article on how exactly to set your suspension sag. So hit that link down below in the description box to access that free article. And before I go, I need to pick the winner of this clutch cover giveaway from the last video. So let's go ahead and take care of that right now. All right, I've got the Instagram random comment picker page pulled up here, URL is punched in. So this giveaway was actually over on Instagram. And if you wanna enter more giveaways like this, make sure you go follow my page. It is at Cameron Nimala. I'll have the handle written right here at the bottom of the screen. So like I said, got the URL punched in. Just going to hit the start button and that's gonna pick a complete random comment from that Instagram picture. All right, you guys ready for this? It's a lot on the line here. Got this clutch cover. Whoever, whoever's comment pops up is going to win this clutch cover. All right, we've got Garrett James and he says brap. So just like I said in that giveaway, got a comment brap on that picture. So Garrett James, I will be sending you a message over on Instagram Get your shipping address and send this clutch cover, this one right here, over to you. Hope you can use it. The last and perhaps best mod of all are stickers. So go cop your Prime MX stickers over at PrimeMX.com. Link will be down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this little list. And actually, I would like to hear what your favorite modifications are. So drop them down below in the comment section. Looking forward to hearing from you and I'll see you in a future video. Keep it Prime, guys. Thank you